Hey guys and welcome back to Naruto Shippuden episode 131. Against this foe, there shall be no playing it by ear. We'll be going full strength from the get-go. Yeah, what the heck is this thing that you summoned though? It's like a weird broken I'm summoning the two great sages, but it's still going to take me a little while before I'm able to summon the both of them here. And until that time, I can't release my hands. I mean, you shouldn't be telling this to your opponent, though. Ungraceful as I am, I shall try. Yeah, pain summons like a weird broken toad. Oh, it's a chameleon. Got you. Since he's made himself invisible, we've got to use barrier battle arts. <sighs> he's sure a tough one to battle. So Jirai just needs to keep himself protected until he can summon whatever he's doing. Did you just use hand signs with your feet? As I recall, this barrier ninjutsu senses any intrusion across its boundary. Well then. But how did you learn all of this when you were barely taught anything? Or was he taught a lot more than- And switch to an attack heavy critter, huh? Mr. Gamaken! Right. Ungraceful as I am, here we go! Right, we get it, you're ungraceful. So he can some, some, summon some strange animals. Hey, you're pretty good. Not at all. I'm as ungraceful as ever. And humble too. Sorry, you got this toad boy. What? What is this? That's what I was about to ask. What is this? Oh my god, it can split even further. Come on, Toad, it's just a couple of doggies. Some tells me this isn't the worst that he's got either, and he's already damaged the toad. Come on, Toad, you got this! So is that the toad exploding them, or is that them exploding on the toad? I hope you're okay, Mr. Gamakin. But do you think you can do this a little bit smoother from here on out? He's already taking damage, Jiraiya. I am ungraceful. <laughs> oh my god. They multiply every time you clobber them. I have no idea what they even are. Could they be doggies that are bound to a self-replicating summoning jutsu? Chimera jutsu! We'll kill him one at a time. Let's lure him into an enclosed space. But how can you kill them one at a time and every time you kill them, they summon a new one? Yeah, you're focusing so hard on this summon that you're not paying attention to the chameleon. So that's the heart of the jutsu, is it? So I'm assuming Pain wants to remove his hands so that he can't summon this uh, sage thingy. I'm interested to see what the sage thing does for Jiraiya. But are we going to get to see? Nobody knows. Incoming, and they're going to split up again. So there's ten of them now. There was only three to begin with. Above us! Yeah, I think you just need to go on the defensive game and not the offensive with this one. There's just no end to this. I really am trying my best here, you know. He is ungraceful. Hitting them's a waste of our energy. Well, I did say that. They're here already? Damn, they have a one-track mind. Well, yeah, they were summoned to attack you. Stupid little mutt! I was gonna say, surely there's only so much. Okay. Huh? Oh no! Mr. Gamakan! You need to help him, Jiraiya. I really am quite ungraceful. No! You just let him die, Jiraiya. Why is the doggies not attacking Jiraiya? You're unable to move, Mr. Gamakin. Then there's no time left for me to summon the two great sages. Oh, so he's not even gonna do it. I really am amazed that there are so many of them. <laughs> but against the hermit sage of the Mount Miyoboku toads, you're nothing at all but a small snack. So what the heck are you doing now? Was it all an illusion? Wait, did you just swallow them with a toad? <laughs> That's a good idea. He's gone. Along with the dogs, too. Where did he go, though? I haven't escaped. Ah! Nagato, 
You're still a rookie at this. Nice. Oh my god, that poor chameleon! So that's just a shadow clone too? Yes. Oh. At the same time, summoning Jutsu. But how are you going to deal with someone with the, the, the funny eyes? This is bad. Don't separate your hands! The froggy goggy can do it. <sighs> Mr. Gamakin! You need to, you need to summon the sages! <laughs> What the heck is this weird pterodactyl thing? <laughs> He's running! <laughs> Run for your life! Oh, yuck. What? He's trying to poop on you! Art is an explosion! Oh <laughs> my god! He's just legging it with his hands still together. Alright! How do you know that's a real, a real hole? I don't trust this. I feel like Jiraiya's running headlong into traps. You're done for the day. No, <laughs> it's an illusion. Oh God, here comes another fire style. Actually doing something. Told you he was running into a trap. I tell you, it's just one thing after another. But I'm almost there. So is that a unicorn? Oh, it's a rhino. And very well quit now, but still. Incoming! Whenever I see a rhino, all I think of is uh, Ace Ventura, Pet Detective, when he's coming out of the rhino's butthole. <laughs> it's gonna be really strange if you've never seen that movie, but if you've never seen that movie, what's wrong with you? So sorry, I'm a bit late. Oh, you fell over. You're very ungraceful. There's just so many illusions and clones and everything going off. Mr. Gamakin, don't you think something funny's going on around here? I don't know. I'm too ungraceful to know what you mean by that. Yeah, I don't know what he means by funny either. Not only mastered every jutsu I taught him, but he also demonstrated the ability to achieve all six changes in chakra nature. Oh, okay. He was well versed in all mainstream ninjutsu, and he mastered all sorts of jutsu by the time he was only 10 years old. So he did learn a lot, obviously, with the, the little training that you gave him. Why is he only using the summoning jutsu against me? Does he think I'm beneath the need for direct confrontation? That is strange. Mr. Gamakin, go home! You've done enough, I'll take it from here! Forgive me. How long before you do the summon though? Then why are you using Gamakin instead of Gamabunta? It's a very strange fight. Lad, why do you always have to summon us to such rowdy places? <laughs> I sure can't fault Bunta for yelling at you the way you behave. Exactly. Bunta, see? I'm sure the Jiraiya boy has his reasons for what he's doing. Oh, this is the two sages. Go ahead, yeah. Apologize for the circumstances, boss, ma'am. But lad, I thought you told me you hated taking this form, saying it would make you unpopular with the lady. Oh my lord. Has he turned a uh, toad? The pupils of six paths. Really? It actually exists? Well, then you're right. You had absolutely no choice. Oh lord, yeah, that wouldn't make you popular with the ladies, would it? Really gotta start being able to go into sage mode all by yourself, Jiraiya boy. Compared to the two of you, I'm still just a novice. So please, lend me your aid for just a little while. Oh, interesting. So he needs to summon them to go into sage mode, whatever that is. Shall we begin? Interesting that there's something that Jiraiya can't do. Now he's got bloody Yoda and the, the child from the Mandalorian. Whether it's Orochimaru or Jiraiya, the sun each have unique powers. So something you should take lightly as one of the sun in. He's hidden himself inside a summoning creature that can make itself transparent. It's gotta be one of them there chameleon species. That's what I said. Let's drag him out using creature detection jutsu. Ma, don't get so excited. You know the only thing that that's gonna do is give you more wrinkles. <laughs> Just let her do what she's doing, all right? And why go so far as to summon us to help you fight him? This opponent happens to be a former student of mine. Oh, it's really sad though, isn't it? I never heard one word of this Jiraiya boy. 
So, is he the one then? Yes. Is he? He's the one from the prophecy? I'm getting like, um, big Star Wars vibes off of this full prophecy. You were the one to bring balance to the Force! Yeah, he was, but just not in the way that you thought. A great change? Either great stability or great destruction, the likes of which this world has never seen. See, even though they, he spelled it out, it's like great stability or great destruction. Maybe both. Ever think about that one? From what I've seen of him so far, it appears he didn't grow up in the right direction. And back when I heard that he and the other two of them had died, I assumed he couldn't have been the one from the prophecy. Well, maybe you should have kept them all in mind. Prophecy's probably nothing more than a senile old geezer's rantings. All right, let's do it. That's disgusting. Aha, found him. Got a bloody alien from, uh, from Alien. It's so fast. Gotcha. Yeah, these these old farts are uh, somewhat strong. Now you, Pa. Yo. Oh my God! She's chopped the thing in half. That's brutal. Jesus Christ! That's not even Jiraiya doing that. So that's the Rinnegan, huh? It certainly does look like the one mentioned in the legend, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks like Snake from the Jungle Book. You will be the one to guide this revolutionary change, and eventually there will come a day when you will be forced to make a critical selection. Oh no. Yes, and whatever choice you end up making will direct the way that this change is going to go. So depending on what Jiraiya does now, I wonder if this is that moment of selection you talked about. Oh no. Summoning Jutsu. That's never good. This time he summoned humans. Wait, has he summoned himself? You turned out to be a harbinger of destruction. And so, as your teacher, it's my duty to take you down. Oh, Jiraiya. Something tells me that ain't what's gonna happen. Ah, oh, there's only one way to find out, and that's by watching the next episode. Unfortunately, we ran out of time in this one, so as always, thanks a lot for watching. I've been Steve, you've been awesome, and I'll see you next time.